Now we're going to do some speed ramping in Premiere Pro. The speed ramping effect is accomplished by providing non-constant speed. Speed ramping is easy to do in Twixter by keyframing values using one of these two methods, either by frame number or speed percentage. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you an example of each method. I will use the frame number option to also demonstrate fit to fill. Let's start with the speed method. We will go to the sequence called speed ramp speed. We're going to use this yacht footage. This sequence is 5 seconds long. We're going to add Twixter. We can park our playhead at 0, select the footage, and go to the effect controls tab in the viewer. Now we can make adjustments to the filter parameters. We will leave our output on Twixter to output. We will set the input fields to none, upper, or lower depending on what our footage and project are as we saw in the overview lesson. In this case, because we have progressive footage, we choose none. We will leave the rest of the settings at default and just go to the time remap mode. We're going to select speed. Since our playhead is at zero, let's first set the animate keyframe icon and we can go to the speed percentage dialog box and type 100. This will tell Twixter that at frame zero we want our sequence to play back at 100%. Now let's park the playhead at one second. We can enter 100 in the dialog box and now from zero to one second our clip will play back at its original speed. We can park the playhead at two seconds. We can enter 200 in the dialog box and this tells Twixter that from one second to two seconds we want our sequence to play back at starting at 100% and increasing to 200%. Now let's park the playhead at three seconds. We can enter 10 in the dialog box and this tells Twixter that from two seconds to three seconds we want our sequence to start at 200% and decrease to 10%. That's going to really slow down. We can now park our playhead at the end of the sequence at 5 seconds. In the dialog box, we can type 100. Our sequence will now play back from 3 seconds to 5 seconds, starting at 10% and animating back to our original speed of 100% and the duration will stay the same. If we want to alter the animation curves at this point, we can easily drag the line between V1 and V2 to increase the height of the video track and then right click on the shot and select show keyframes, Twixter, output control, speed percentage. Then we can right mouse click on the individual keyframes to make them linear, bezier, auto bezier, continuous bezier, hold, ease in, ease out, you get the idea. I'm going to choose Bezier for this demonstration and adjust the handle like this. Let's render this sequence and take a look at the result. So this is using the speed option to do a speed ramp in Twixter in Premiere Pro. Now we're going to take the shot and move it down the timeline to start at 2 seconds. We want to add another shot to our timeline to fit into this 2 second gap. This new shot is 2 seconds and 17 frames and we don't want to lose any of the content so we will use Twixter to make this shot 2 seconds and fit into the gap. Incidentally, you will want to upgrade to CS4 version 4.2, which will allow you to do some of the things that I will be showing in this next example. We can see here that we have a two second gap and then our first shot that we worked on starting at two seconds. Since this new shot is two seconds and 17 frames, we will want to shorten this clip to two seconds without losing any of the content as we already mentioned. So we will add Twixter to our shot select it and go to the effect controls tab. We can leave the output on source for now. We will set our input fields to none since this is also progressive footage. We will use the frame number option this time for the time remap mode. We want to go to frame 17 since this shot is 17 frames too long and we, and we will remap frame 0 to frame 17. We are in time code now but since 
Twixter works in frames, we can easily right mouse click on the timecode display and choose frames for now. I will enter frame 0 in the speed dialog box and set a keyframe here at frame 17. Now at the end of our shot, frame 65, which is 2 seconds and 17 frames, we will enter 65 in the dialog box to make sure that the last frame doesn't change from the original. We can switch the timeline back to timecode if we want to now and we can just drag the endpoint of our shot to start at frame 17. Now I will just drop this clip in here at the head of the timeline and go ahead and put the display back on Twixtered output and render the sequence and take a look at the result. Just to recap, we used the speed option to speed ramp our first shot and then we used the frame option for a fit to fill with Twixter in Premiere Pro.